Another restaurant in downtown Chattanooga has shut down. After a 30-year run, customers were surprised to see Big River Grill close for good. Dallas Payton checked them out to find out their reaction to the closing. I, mean, I just hate to see it close. Uh, yeah, hopefully they can reopen somewhere else. John Hudson became a regular at Big River Grill, but now he's going to have to find a new restaurant to go to. I work right down the street right here at Steam Logistics. I've been there for two years, so I would occasionally like to visit and eat lunch. Uh, it's just sad and it's been there a long time. I hate to see a restaurant that's been here 30 years uh, closed down like that. Jeff Cloudis is another community member who was caught off guard by the restaurant closing. Cloudis has eaten at Big River all of his life and at least once a year for the past few years. He believes a staffing shortage could have played a role in the closing. Just lack of help. It's usually half the restaurant wasn't filled and then they just didn't have the staff. The last few times over the last three or four years, they just had tons of seats, but almost nobody working and we still had to wait. Sarah Matson, the Director of Entrepreneurship for the City of Chattanooga says, resources are available for businesses in our community that may be struggling to keep their doors open. In the City of Chattanooga, there's a lot of resources available to provide technical assistance to businesses and funding if that's something they need. But in reality, businesses can close for such a wide variety of reasons. Um, some not at any fault of their own and some just due to changing uh, demographics of the city. Madison says there are small business incentive grants that are available. For every job that a restaurant provides, or if you provide at least five jobs within an 18 month period, there's grant funds available. And we've had quite a few restaurants in Chattanooga take advantage of that program. Um, and that's really to help incentivize and reward business, all businesses, not just restaurants for creating jobs in our city and growing the business. The city is hosting an entrepreneur fair on November 15th and a list of resources from attorneys, lenders, and CPAs will be there to guide business owners. For Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.